Last week, I traveled to the port of Savannah on one of the world's largest container ships. In this video, I will document that journey. This video includes footage as we pass Fort Pulaski on our way up the Savannah River, passing the Elba Island LNG export facility, video footage of the mooring pilot boarding our moving vessel, some amazing views of the downtown Savannah Historic District from the bridge wing of the ship 175 feet above the water. Some incredible footage of our ship nearly passing under the Talmadge Bridge. And the video finally concluding with us berthing at the port. The journey began at 0500 when we took the Savannah ship pilot. It was dark then so therefore I was unable to actually film him boarding our vessel. Our vessel is actually so large that even at high tide at times there was less than two meters clearance below the kill as can be seen on the echo sounder displays. I'm not really sure if the video will show this up but this shows how large our vessel is. There is the starboard inbound channel marker and there's the green outbound channel marker. Our ship is so big it takes up the entire channel. There's no way to wait traffic pass while we are coming in. This is like making a field goal. Here in this part of the video we are just now entering the Savannah River jetties. And as I said before, this is at high tide. Therefore, on the port side, the jetty is completely submerged. What you are witnessing here is the wake of our vessel hitting the shallower beachfront waters. Soon after entering the river, we passed Fort Pulanski. In one of the first battles of the Civil War, rifle cannons were used for the very first time to attack the fort. River, and the channel is a little wider, but we are missed. We are meeting a small outbound ship. And this is gonna be a very close pass. You can see how far over that the smaller ship is next to the bank. So we'll get a really good shot of this ship when it comes by very close to our port side. be an LNG ship because there is actually a LNG export terminal up a few miles ahead. As the river begins to narrow and we approach downtown Savannah, the first set of harbor tugs meets our vessel. The tug you see now approaching the vessel also contains the mooring pilot. For this particular transit, the vessel requires two pilots. You have the ship pilot that boarded while we were at sea to help navigate the ship up the river, but this particular pilot will be responsible for coordinating and communicating with the tugs as we approach the berth, be communicating directly with the tugboat pilots directing them on where to push, when to pull, and to push us into the berth. We are now approaching the last big bend before we pass downtown Savannah, the historic district. Last week I was on the Riverwalk filming vessels as they came by. And this week I get the amazing privilege of filming the Riverwalk from the bridge of one of the world's largest container ships. I'm really looking forward to this part of the journey. Once we pass downtown, we're going to go under that bridge before finally arriving at our destination over where those container trains are located. Should be about 10 more minutes and we will be passing downtown. So it's very early in the morning. There's not as many people out as there were last weekend. But here we go. I'm gonna record the entire time as we pass this area. 
there are a lot of restaurants, bars, tourist attractions, museums, etc. here. Had a really great time in Savannah last weekend. And I'm actually more excited than you know to see it from the ship view. So from this angle, it looks like we will not fit under the bridge, but the pilot and the captain assure me that we will. I'm gonna film it as we go under, as this is gonna be really close. And just in case we hit the bridge, I'm definitely gonna catch it on camera. Oh, there's no worries, we're gonna make this but it looks so close. There goes the captain. He's taking a good view of the bridge also. Oh, this is gonna be close. Just made it. So on board a ship, as we approach the docks, the pilot and the captain can come out to the bridge wing. And this is where they can steer the vessel and control the bow thrusters and see alongside the dock as they moor. When the lid is closed, it looks more like a barbecue pit. So some of the controls, yeah, the main engine control, and you also have control of the bow thrusters from right here. <laughs> 